So if we catch the light, yeah, you can see the date. Fifteen sixty one. So Jotamius, the um, abbot, the magical abbot. Yeah. Yeah, he was the teacher of uh, Cornelius Agrippa that we had talked about a little bit earlier. Oh yes, I remember. Teach him by the out of the body skill through dreams, uh, but they found it was better to actually meet or, or write letters. Letters are better. Yes. So this is yeah. polygraphy. Yes. <laughs> it's all about uh, codes and ciphers. Uh, universal Kabbalistic writing oh. by Tritemius, and it was translated into uh, French. So here we have all these. You probably are you have you seen oh, a copy? Oh, no, so. Can you tell me about these? So these are is this correspondence tables or tables correspondence policies? tables and uh, secret writing also. Oh, I see ciphers, uh-huh. um, and he he had. Uh, a wonderful um, magical library. He's interested in various alphabets. Well, you can see these actually in the books of three books of occult philosophy, or yeah. at least some of them. Yes. He's there, so you can see his, the student did take down well. So it's um, a copy which we have um, of the 1561 edition of Tritemius's Polygraphy and. Uh, there are many secondary works on uh, Tritemius and his his library and his his magical practices. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. This is things that we don't really know much about, or I, I'm not aware. But it'd be really interesting to see what his practices actually were, and uh, to see, a, do you say a, a magical abbot? And uh, yeah. could that be a complete? Uh, Christian approach. Uh, I'm sure that the Warburg practice. Institute has many of the oh, studies okay. uh, relating oh, to uh, Tritemius. Yeah, um, if you think of magic and uh, invoking occult powers in um, in uh, Heinrich Kunrad's um, Amphitheatrum Sapiensi Eterni, here he is, by the way. And a wonderful thing, it's a lovely intimate portrait looking at us, uh, and he, here are the, well, the, the foundation of his knowledge is, of course, the Bible, but also alchemy, magic, Kabbalah, uh, Kabbalah, yeah. Kabbalah in, indeed, and medicine, because he was a doctor, yeah. uh, and history, of course, because he was in Romo Universalis. Um, but there is the famous amphitheatre, um, the um, laboratory and oratory in uh, Kunrat's. Uh, the first edition was 1595. This is the second edition, posthumous. He died in 605. Um, and here we have Kunrat himself. We know it's Kunrat because uh, his name is <laughs> on yes. the canopy. And he is invoking uh, the occult powers, and he's saying you've got to free, med- you've got to meditate and free your mind before you can engage in alchemy. So here's the oratory part and the laboratories here, oh. and again. Uh, music of the spheres yes. to, to expel evil spirits, but also you know, the harmony so of the spheres. Bring enlightenment. Yes. So this is very much the as above, so below. Yes. The alchemist changes themselves to, to be able to perform their alchemy, and the alchemy changes them to perform their self-transformation. Mm-hmm. How wonderful. Uh, this is uh, lovely to see. <laughs>